Well, folks, we have come to the end of the Inkvent Calendar Rainbow. We are going to do 25. Yes, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Um, I want to give a preview of all the inks. Um, I'm going to insert that in a minute. I'm going to insert that. Maybe at the end I'll insert. I'll take a picture and insert it because I love to see all these inks lined up. They're so beautiful. 25 new inks. I have 25 new inks, people. That's just like, oh my God, be still my beaten happy heart. Alrighty. 25 with all the, the little things around it. Let's get to 25, shall we? Oh, and it's, it's a nice big window. Oh, I forgot it's a full size. Of course it had to be a purple. Alrighty, you know the, you know the routine. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way and get the wrapping off. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, upside down. Let's get to the right one. This one is the last purple, and it's called Raise a Glass. How fitting, isn't it? Oh, that is really sweet. And it's a shimmer, because I saw, saw all the shimmer. I, I, I must say, I completely forgot that we, we would get a full, um, a full bottle of ink. This is a 30 mil size. I'm excited about doing that. So let's get to the Hobonichi for the last time in December. Let's get to it. That's a lot of inks, people. That's a lot of beauty. That's beautification of my page. You know what? For the most part, for the most part, I kind of like the majority. I would say I like 97% of them. Some of them are like, really? Um, that's what you're doing? But the majority, I think I like. Even, um, this is Nightfall. I even like Nightfall now. I mean, come on. Good stuff. So it's fitting that the last ink is purple. Let's just do, and I'm going to do a whole big old swatch of it, if you can, if you can come on the, I'm going to do a whole big old swatch of it, befitting the size of the bottle. How about that? Yes. Uh, that's rich and deep and dark. Wow. Oh, that is interesting. Okay, let's get, I got all my stuff all piled up here. The, the room that I'm recording in right now is the room where my boys are staying because they came for Christmas. So let's get this one. Let's get this last one. And I'm glad I, the last one is actually on this page because the next series I start can be on this page here and there'll be a page between them. Sweet. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that really good? That's fortuitous. That's what we call fortuitous. Okay. Let me get... It didn't look like there was much... Um, it didn't look like there was much shimmer in it, but maybe that's the shimmer for a big bottle. That's what it is. But we'll... We'll just get what we can. Wow, it is seriously dark. On a dark and stormy night. I want to show up, hopefully some of that shimmer. Alrighty, and you know it, I'm gonna go in with the, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the Mahjong glass dip pen. Um, I read a comment for yesterday's video where she said, there's actually, I don't know if you remember the video where I thought I'd lost my nib. Well, apparently 
these mahjong nibs are interchangeable. How awesome is that? So you know I'm gonna get me some more nibs to fit in this in this glass holder. So let's see what. Of course, I I like dipping. Um, I like dipping really low in the bottle, but it does get all over the place. This is. Diamine. It's really pretty. Um, raise a glass. That does not look like a G. And we are doing, um, oh, I don't want to do something else there, but I, I'm not going to. That looks much better. I do like these. I finally settled on how I want to show. I love the, the, the petals and the limbs that people do with their petals. And I realized I don't want the limb, I just want the petals. So there. And this is, you, did you see I almost wrote an H there just now, just like in the beginning, where I wrote M-A-H-J? No, that ship don't fly. Okay, what do I think of this thing? Give me a minute, because I really want to, I want to study this ink. So give me a minute. Oh, it's got green shit. Oh, that, okay. I'm hoping that as I move this, you're able to see that green shimmer, because it is freaking go. Cool. Oh, oh, thank you, Die Mine, for making the last one just like brilliantly beautiful. Love that. Okay, initial thoughts. Before we get to initial thoughts, I want to shake this up one more time. I was explaining to a friend that the reason I shake it up so often is because it's a dip pen and what's on the ink, what's on the, the nib is all the ink that I'm going to get. But in a fountain pen, the ink travels downward. So I get, if I shake it up once, I can usually get lots of, um, Particles showing up. So, initial thoughts, y'all. Last initial thoughts for 2023 Diamond Inkvent series. Let's see what I think. What do I think? first and then I'll read to you what I wrote although you probably you probably have read it as I walk as I write do let me know in the comments do you write do you read what I write as I write it maybe not because I do speed that process up um I often wonder should I not say what I wrote not read it but I like reading it it's my video so I like reading it. anyway Besides all of that. Initial thoughts. I really love the deep, dark color of this purple. It shows up so much darker when there's a, um, when the shimmer is in there. So much darker here. But if you see here, it looks, you know what it looks like? It looks like the garment vestments that um, priests wear at this time of the year. That's beautiful. Anyway, I love the deep, dark color. It looks to me, initial thoughts. Remember, this is initial thoughts when I say this next piece out loud. It looks like Santa's dark red coat only in purple. That's what the color reminds me of. I'm not exactly seeing the shimmer show up in the writing yet, but I hope it does as it dries. It is rich and beautifully purple in a very good way. So that's what I wrote. I kind of like this color. I tell you, this purple right here is just, is such a beautiful, there's lots of nice red coming up in there, more than the blue, I think. But I think it's a, I want to do a comparison between all the dark colors and um, 
maybe do a, on different papers and do a comparison with all the dark colors because dark colors to me I'm not I don't gravitate necessarily towards dark colors but I do like seeing the different colors and right here I think with a, a finer nib the color will show up more than here when I initially dipped it right after I dipped it it just showed up as dark I don't know if that makes sense to anybody anyway so let's get to oh I need to write in day let's get to the swatch day 25 and I think we are going to have an exclamation point yeah we'll have an exclamation point because it's day 25 oh so good so good let's go in here first and you can see you can see some of that shimmer show up Yeah, you can see it show up ever so slightly there. I do love uh, purple with the green. I, I like the green in there. There are quite a few that have green shimmer, like this one. This has green shimmer in it. Anyway, let's get to the swatch. Let's get to the swatches. Hold on one second. There you go. Alrighty, let's get to swabbing. And you know what? I'm going to use my regular Q-tip swabs and see if that makes any difference today with the swabbing. I hope it does, because then I'd be lying and saying swabs are different. Alrighty. That rich, deep, deep color. I almost want to say deep. The color is just, oh. And then on the Rhodia. Oh, it's so brilliant. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know how I said that this has more, looks like it has more red? No, it's more blue in it. It's definitely more blue in this purple. And the reason I think that is because this is my rinse water. Look at that color. Look at that bluish purpley thing. Gorgeous. I swear, if this were not ink water, I would probably drink this because it's that lovely. But you know, I'm not going to drink it. Nope. That was giving me time to let these things dry. So let's take a look at these. Let's take a look at these beauties. Mm, this, uh, oh my God. That is such a lovely, and the purple is showing up in the writing. You can see that now as it dries. And the shimmer of each, they're not looking different on the separate papers. Remember, this is Rhodia and this is the coloring, and they're not looking that much different. They're showing up as really beautiful purple. Way to go, Diamine. Way to go. Make sure this is closed. This is so good. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I really love this. I love this whole process. I love creating with you, for you, um, beside you as you did your swatches. Um, let me know in the comments how you liked this issue of Vlogmas for um, Inkvent. Let me know in the comments how you are doing. What's up? What happened for you today? What are you preparing? And you know what? What's the new year going to bring for you? What are you wishing for in the new year? I know it's a bit early to ask that because um, Christmas and Hanukkah, they've, they've not, they've not, well, Hanukkah started, I think. Um, but Christmas is tomorrow or today. Christmas is today. Christmas is today. Yeah. Wow. But as I'm recording it, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. That's why the reference to tomorrow. Um, because I'll be with my family. I'll be celebrating. So yeah, I would love to be with you on Christmas Day itself. But yeah, we ain't playing that game. I'm going to be off. Um, let me know what is it that you wish for in the new year? What's What are you thinking of? What do you want to bring into the new year? What do you want to manifest in the new year? Um, I'm not sure yet if this will be the last video of the year. I don't think so. I think I would like to, oh no, I have ink report. I want to do ink report. Um, yeah, I think the ink report will be the last video. 
before the new year, before this year ends. But also, um, how did you enjoy the inks in the calendar this year? Were there things that just, inks that just flopped for you? And were the, what was the, what was your top? And what was your, eh, not a fan? What, tell me those. There's a lot of things I'm asking for you, from you in the comments, and I apologize. But, you know, talk to me however. Tell me whatever you want. Just, yeah, I love reading your comments. So, anyway, happy, um, merry Christmas. And I say happy because my husband is UK and they say happy Christmas sometimes in the, in the UK. Merry Christmas. Um, happy holidays for you who, what, Ever you are celebrating this time of the year, I wish you so much joy and peace and laughter and fun and lots of really good time spent with family, whoever they are, wherever they are. Anyway, 